whole gang and we are driving into London because Darcy has a really exciting thing today. Do you want to say it or shall I? Uh, I'll say it. Yeah, go on then. I've danced at the Royal Ballet School. So we're going to be dropping Darcy off um, in about, well, as soon as we get parked. Um, she's going to be there for the whole day. So Lee and Pearly and I are going to have a fun day. We were going to go to the Natural History Museum because we did think you could just walk in. I seem to remember in the olden days you could just rock up but after the whole 2020, 2021 situ. Um, I don't know if they changed it then to having to book slots or maybe they just do it in the half term, I'm not sure. Um, so we'll see what we can do. If not, we're just gonna have a touristy day. I've got a few ideas. I thought it'd be nice just to take you along and document it and um, have those memories. So I hope you enjoy coming along with us and welcome, welcome. So we got stuck in traffic, we were diverted. And it was taking us all around the houses. So Darcy and I have jumped out um, and we're walking up to the Royal Ballet School, um, otherwise we're going to be late. We've got all your stuff, we've got a yoga mat, that's the first time we've had one of those. Yoga bag. She's got a little pat lunch box, how cute is that? Got a water bottle. Got your water bottle. Dance bag. Dance bag. Got brain. Got your brain, got your dancing feet. Yeah, all good. We're just gonna have a look. Oh, we're going to see our little thing. There's a little bit of graffiti when we stayed, we stayed at a hotel up there two years ago, didn't we? for Oi. ballet booths and every time we walk past that little thing there we go oi 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 so we're just about to walk past pineapple dance studios just here and this is where you did your ballet boost um week in there that's where you like to go pineapple dance studios but it's the big one today isn't it <laughs> real ballet school here we are how are you feeling really excited yeah are you feeling nervous no not really that's good <laughs> what do you say to Sissy? Hello, little rat. No, not hello, little rat. You say good luck. Hello, little rat. All right. <laughs> yeah, just picked, dropped her off back there. Um, she just went in with no worries. I feel so proud of her because that's such a big moment for her to go and do something like that. Now I need to go and find Liam. He's gone to a prep with Pearly. Have a nice day with them. Oh, my mummy hot. I've got one of these, pearls already eaten. What are you playing on? What are you working on? I'm doing this. Oh, I'm okay. I'm going to get some eggs. You're to get eggs, do you? Bub, bub, bub. Let's see. Do you love this game, Pearl? Oh, rainbow corns. <laughs> Ready? 31, 2, 3. Whee! Want to do it again? Yeah. One. Two, three. Ah. That's a bit special, isn't it, in there? We've popped into Ted Baker because Liam wants to look at some tops. And look what we found a music wall. Let's see if it works. Oh, I don't think it will work. You could try it. Oh, it doesn't make music, but you can still press it, can't you? And that's a bit of fun, isn't it? That makes a sound, doesn't it? What about the drums? They work. I so desperately wish that Ted Baker women's wear would be more size inclusive because I would spend so much money in here. I love this sort of like frilly girly loveliness, but alas, it does not go up to my size. Like this is so me. I love it so much. It's so nice. Thank <laughs> you. 
are they playing, Curly? A violin. A violin, you're so clever. So nice, isn't that? Watch carefully. Can, glass, glass, can. Here comes the really good bit. We've come to Trafalgar Square. We're being such tourists today. I love it. I never get to do this kind of stuff in London. This is so nice. You got this guy, some sort of like sea god. The fountain. Red London buses. Pearly Pops. Of oh, course, it's lovely. So there's the lions. Is this a good idea? Probably not. Oh, she's up. She is up. Wow, Pearl, you're so tall. Can you believe how big you are? so tall. <laughs> oh, it's giving me vertigo. Action man, are you, you're, oh my, okay, here we go. It's the man I'm gonna marry. Here he is. <laughs> I was like watching Spider Man ascend then. So we've come to a lovely little restaurant for lunch called Pasta Brown. It does the most delicious, you guessed it, pasta. We're looking forward to this, aren't we, Pearly? Yeah, does it only do pasta? I think it does pizzas and salads as well. What would you? What do you want? Pizza, cheesy pizza. Oh, your favourite. I'm not finished this picture. You're not finished that picture? Yeah, because I need to call it pizza. What have you got there? Pizza. Are you excited about that? Oh, that looks nice. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Oh, yes, please. That'd be lovely. Thank you. Oh, look at that. That looks nice. That food was so delicious and so yummy, wasn't it? And now we're going to go somewhere else for dessert. So, where Pearl has been waiting for, where are we going to go? Ice cream. And we're going to go to Fortnum and Mason's ice cream parlour. I'm hoping you didn't have to book a table or have a book for anything. But we're hoping to go to Fortnum and Mason's ice cream parlour. Get some nice ice cream, aren't we? Yeah. Pearly, you're going backwards. <laughs> That's a bit special, isn't it? Yeah. So, here's Fortnum and Mason, and it is just delightful. Look at all the details on it. Are you ready, Pearly, to go in? Yeah. I'm really hoping they've got their Easter stuff, but it is only February, so I'm not sure. Let's go. Oh, thank you. Even the doors are nice. Let's see. Oh, they've got Valentine's chocolates. They've got all their Valentine's sweets. Oh, look at these. Chocolate teddy bears. 30 pounds each, those are. Wowie. And there is the ice cream parlor. I love that even the light shades are done like um, ice cream flavors. What's that ice cream that you get three blocks? Oh, like chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, what's it called? Someone will know in the comments. What would you go for out of these? I usually go for mint and strawberry, but I can't see a mint here. Vanilla. Vanilla? Want a vanilla? Yeah. Yeah? And then what sauce would you like? You can have chocolate, caramel, passion fruit, raspberry. I don't want any. Do you want any sauce? That's fine. Do you want any toppings? Yeah. What would, you, what would you like for a topping? Um, they've got chocolate button, chocolate crunch, pineapple, honeycomb, mini marshmallows. Mini marshmallows. Mini marshmallows. You can have chocolate buttons as well. I want mini marshmallows and chocolate buttons. You can do that. Loving the decor in here and all the colours. So pastel and gorgeous. Thank you so much. Oh, that looks amazing. Thank you. Wow, Pearly, are you happy with that? That looks pretty good. Liam got a cappuccino as well, and it came with. Is that real? Yeah, it came with a mini ice cream. Oh, are you going to give it to Pearly? Oh, look! That's so cute. <laughs> I was just saying to Liam that I feel like. Have you been in the confectionery store on Main Street in Disney World? I feel like this is kind of what they are 
sort of modeling it on I'm sure that they've got other inspiration but just you know like the opulence of it all the chandeliers and the great big glass jars of sweets like it's very opulent and lovely so we had a lovely look all round Portland Mason and now we're just reaching about um, we don't have long before we have to go and get Darcy so we're just walking I don't even know what street we're on but it's a very lovely little London street um, it, was, it was a bit busy on what's the street that Fortnum's on babe is it Regent Street Piccadilly. oh Piccadilly it was really busy so we just took a right and started walking away from all that it feels so full of like having a full lunch and then an ice cream and then Darcy said when I finish dance we're gonna go and get something to eat and I was like yeah <laughs> so, so a lot of walking and a lot of eating today so Fortnum and Mason's up there and this is Duke Street, St. James. And we've seen at the end here, there looks like there's a park. So we're gonna go and let Pearl have a little run around in there. Yeah. Oh. This is nice, isn't it, Pearl? So this is St. James's Square. Because you've been such a patient little sister and Pearly always supports Darcy's thing, don't you? Always come along, come closer. Let's see what I've got, because she saw this in the shop and you really liked it, didn't you? Yeah. So you open that, yeah. and look, and then you press the button then. <laughs> that good? Mummy's going to write you a little note here yeah. when we get home. You can keep that forever and keep your little note hidden. A little yeah. special love letter. Yeah. And this is because you are such a good supportive sister. Yeah. And maybe when you're bigger you will like ballet, but if you don't, you've been... She's always... She's just so good, isn't she? Yeah. Like Darcy does all these big things and Pearly just comes along and has a good time with us, don't you? Yeah. And I felt like she deserved a little acknowledgement that you're a good girl and then when she's a big girl maybe who will be coming along then just me and daddy waiting whilst you do your big dance things if you want yes. to do you like it yeah but you'll be looking after this i'll be taking this round with me while you dance yeah hi it's pearl i'm gonna fight some squirrelies i can see squirrel Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Oh, it was nearly Daddy, but it was Pearly was the winner! Look! <laughs> what? Little flowers? Yeah. So as well as this card that we bought for Pearl, I've also bought this card for Darcy to say well done for dancing today. So I'm just going to write this. I'm going to put our darling dancing Darcy. <laughs> I love the alliteration write her a little note and you're still enjoying that aren't you yeah. yes i've left pearl and liam in the royal opera house cafe i'm gonna go and get darcy she's just around the corner i'm gonna bring her back and then she wants to look in the royal opera house like royal ballet it's all connected gift shop there was a hoodie she saw before christmas a royal ballet school hoodie that she really wanted and we said when you've danced there then you can have the hoodie so i think she would quite like to go and have a look and see if they have any of those right let's go and get them oh my goodness how are you feeling fabulous i really enjoyed it yeah yeah it was so much fun i'm just so excited <laughs> did you do like general lessons or did you work towards knowing a routine so, or so uh we did like loads of like i tried to stick a fashion mm -hmm. experience we did musicality so that's yeah. like making sure your moves are on time to it yeah it's not just doing a dance right whilst music is on it's like knowing the moves to the dance yes if you get what i mean dance gals <laughs> dance gals <laughs> you know what i mean did you make friends yeah I did. oh you look, you're like buzzing like ooh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, i'm so proud of you right let's go and take this show liam and now we get to go into that gift shop let's see if they've got that hoodie yeah. let's go let's go so would you like to go and do another one of those another time oh yes please <laughs> Oh look, reunited. Oh, you're showing you your card. Ready? It's 
card has been good value. Big moment for me. A big moment. <gasps> Look. Royal Ballet, that's a nice colour. Well, they've got a black one as well. This one. Well, they've got a green one. What would you like? You choose, it's your hoodie. I think I this Yeah? Okie dokie. I want this one because it feels like really baggy. Got so many lovely bits in here. It's just off Covent Garden if ever you're around. It's really nice in here. We've had some lovely dinner and now we are walking back to the car and it's dusk and all the lights are on. It just, this has been such a nice day. I was saying to Liam earlier, it feels like today I've felt the excitement of Christmas. I've also felt the first like bits of spring and I've felt like I'm on holiday. Like, you know, all those three different types of excitement. I'm not saying I feel like it is Christmas, just like that, like magic. I've just felt good. It's just been really nice. Here's my three favorite people in the world. Oh, we are just underneath the sign for the um, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. And now we're gonna head up there to find the car. This is one of my favorite parts of London. This is Seven Dials in Covent Garden. It's where the Matilda musical is in Cambridge Theatre. I love it around here, it's so pretty. What a fabulous day, eh, Doodles? Yeah, yeah, we should do this again very soon, shouldn't we? Yes, definitely. I sometimes get asked, how do I find out about the like events that they have on at like different ballet schools? I just go on the websites a lot. So like once a week I will go on, so I check Royal Academy of Dance, Royal Ballet School, um, hmm, only two, <laughs> I feel like I check more, um, but I just, I, I get their newsletters, just sign up to their newsletters and they email you with things that are on, you do then get all the emails about all the other stuff that's not related, but it's worth it to then see the stuff that is on, um, and I follow them on social media as well to see if they ever advertise anything and just book it as soon as it comes out because spaces fill up. Oh, it's getting really busy. Spaces fill up really quickly, so when you see something, book it as soon as you can. And we are back in the car. Pearl's really enjoying the uh, ballet musical card. And we're gonna head home. Is that good? <laughs> Pearly, we are home. Hello. We are home. That is horrible framing. I've got you balanced on a can of Batiste, the dry shampoo, here we go. I'm gonna take up off all my makeup. This is gonna be far too much TMI, but I just sat on the loo for a real long time scrolling through my phone. You know when you get sucked down a scroll hole and then you think, wow, I've been sat here for a long time and now one of my legs has gone completely dead. So I feel a bit like, <laughs> It has been such a lovely, lovely, lovely day. Um, it's a lot of stuff I don't share online, even though I share so much about that. It's, sometimes I think people think that I share everything, every little detail, and that's okay if people think that. Like, I get it, social media can be really, really deceptive. Totally understand. Um, but I don't share everything that's going on all the time. And there's been a few things <laughs> Am I even in shot? Yes. Mm. <laughs> There's been a few things going on this past year. Two slash three big things that have really taken a lot of my energy and zapped, like, zapped a lot of my soul, <laughs> for honest with you. And today, I just didn't feel any of those things. Two of them have resolved now, which is really good. Um, just one kind of lingers on a bit, um, but that's a story for another day. Um, I didn't feel them today, like I didn't feel the weight of, like everybody in their life I think has got problems, like if you don't have any problems in your life or any hard things or any issues or any like thing stuff going on, then you are totally, totally blessed. But I think everybody has their fair share of like gubbins going on, I don't think that's unique to me or unusual or anything like that. But to have a day where you just don't feel it at all. And not just didn't feel it today, because I've had days, like, don't get me wrong, like the last year hasn't been terrible. There's been loads of like really good days. In fact, really good weeks. There's been like good spans of time. But to not feel the dread of it, I think that's what I'm trying to get at. I felt very light 
I'm free and happy today and I have felt like I used to feel I used to feel like this all the time long time ago and it's really nice um, to feel that again and to have hope that I'll feel that for a long time now um, so yeah it's just been really really lovely I've really appreciated um, the time spent with Liam and that one-on-one -on -one time with Pearlie uh, obviously I love spending time with both of my children um, but you'll know what it's like if you've got multiple children or if you're a sibling yourself um, how special it is to have that one-on-one -on -one time as well um, I've been so proud of Darcy Doodles I feel like that's good enough there I've been so so proud of Darcy um, for like achieving something that means such a lot to her um, I have have really good food today as well um, and I feel like I've been a better fiance to Liam because I've been like light and not like <gasps> pushed down by the weight of things it's been really lovely to like have some bands and just be like to just be dare I say it chill <laughs> I'm never chill I'm not a chill person we joke am I waffling on yeah if you're still listening at this point, well done, because like most people drop off by the end of a video because I just wa whiff waffle on. Uh, but if you're still here, well done, leave a comment. Um, yeah, we used to joke that on our first date, I lied basically, and I was like, oh yeah, I'm a really chill person, like I really relax, I really go with the flow. And he was like, that's exactly what I want in a woman. I was like, mm, that's me. <laughs> that is, that couldn't be fun. Imagine, what's the opposite of that? chill and go with the flow, uptight, has to have a plan, that's me, um, ha ha ha, that was a, that's fun, glad I shared that with you, right, I really am waffling now, I'm going to take my eyes out, um, and call it a day, I look forward to editing this, and watching it back, I hope you've enjoyed watching it, um, I'll leave any links below that I can think of, uh, if there's anything you want to know about, let me know, leave a friendly comment, I'll be getting back, um, as much as I can to everybody. Oh, now is the point where, oh, hang on. Get out, evacuate. Thank you so much for your service. Um, right, that is me. Done and dusted, kippers and custard. What's that from? Love you all lots. Good night.